Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jess and I do a Tubs and a video. So here in this video, we'll be creating a deep French LV with Swarovski's, really long. So as you can see, I did go in by going in with my protein bond and then the color that I'm using to do the French is a cover beige from Me The Secret. So as you can see, I did go ahead and place my bead and then I push it up towards the cuticle and then you want to drag it down to create that french look so as you can see i'm grabbing it i'm grabbing it down and i'm sort of kind of like playing with it and then you kind of just want to play with it and you know whatever you think looks best for you so as you can see i do try to go in with some like inward motions as you could see and then once it starts drying up more i do go in and flatten up a bit and then i go in and round it out so as you can see that's what i'm doing here and that's what you kind of just want to do to all the nails um it's just kind of a practice type of thing um it's not going to come out perfect so as you can see i do go ahead and turn my client's hand so that way i know that my french will be even and symmetrical which is one big thing that is such a big thing to me um very lcd about i want everything to be symmetrical and to look good so you kind of just want to have that mentality as well um so you could better your work and yeah that's what i'm doing kind of just messing with it and you will see that i do go in with a couple beads just to you know fix up the cuticle or whatever and that's what i'm doing dragging it down and placing it and you will see um once i'm doing the other nails i do go back in and apply more acrylic just because i am still gonna go back and file it down to create that french look so that's really all i'm doing and i will be creating this to all the nails and yeah as you can see you will see me turn the nails as well and as you can see just apply my protein bond applying my bead making sure that it's nice and even symmetrical and round and by turning my client's hand and you just want to keep doing it
So once I've added all the acrylic on all the nails, as you can see here, um, I am going to grab my file and I'm going to go ahead and file around just so I could create that very round shape for the nail so that way it could create a deep French. So I'm using my 101 file. As you guys know, I always get these at Sally's, which I do want to start trying out some new files. So definitely comment down below what files you guys use and where you guys get them. I definitely want to try out some new files. I'm not saying these are bad. I still love these. But I do want to go ahead and try out new ones. So as you can see, I'm just going ahead and follow and filing around the nail just to make sure that it's nice and round. And yeah, I will be doing this to all the nails. And just to create that nice and symmetrical shape, like I said, you want your French to look very, very good. So after filing the nail and then dusting off any of the dust, you always want to make sure that you get no dust on your workspace, especially when you're applying the acrylic, because if not, whenever you apply the acrylic, the dust will be on the nail and you don't want to do that. So I am going to go in with my Nails by Safi number 27 acrylic and I am going to be adding this to all the nails and you kind of just want to do this as you would a B-tip, a side tip, depending how you do yours with acrylic. This is how I do it and as you can see, I'm just going ahead and going in adding my acrylic. You don't want to add too much around the nude just because you are going to take longer to file it unless you know you're really, really fast or whatever. But you, as you can see here, I do try to go in with more dryer beads just so it could dry up faster. And not necessarily a wet bead because if not, you're going to be there forever. It's going to be stripping and everything. So you don't want that. You want to go in more with the dry bead. It will save you time and it will be much, much easier. Also, you do want to take in mind that you will be needing to go faster whenever you go ahead and apply it and try to move it around wherever you want it. So all I'm really going to be doing is applying this color, which is so pretty. I thought it blended in so nicely and it made um, the white LV and the crystals pop out. So I definitely really like this color combination. So I definitely suggest to, you know, recreate the set or whatever. But yeah, that's all I'm going to be doing. I will be adding this color to all the nails.
once I'm done applying the acrylic, as you could see, I'm going in and checking, just looking at it from the side, making sure that it looks nice how I want it to look. And then I am going to go in and file and buff and draw and all that. So definitely comment down below. I don't think I've done a specific a specific video on how to like um file and draw and all that. So definitely comment down below if that's a video you guys would want to watch. Um, But yeah, I am going to go in with my Eye Method Nail Foil Glue. I will have everything that I use linked down below, so make sure to go check out the description as well as do not forget to use the code so that you guys can save some money. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply it to the Nose by Safi color um, at the very, very tip. I'm only going to be adding it there, not the whole nail. So I, as you can see, I'm using the brush that it comes with, and I obviously did go in with a liner brush. I don't really use a liner brush just to go around, um, just so I don't go over and add too much. So that's all I'm doing, and then I will be curing it for 30 seconds. And obviously, I did go ahead and put it in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then I do grab my Nails by Safi LV nail foil in white. And I'm just applying this to all the nails. And that's what I will be doing to all the nails. Just applying my glue, curing it, and then applying my foil. And then I will be adding crystals.
So after applying my foil, I am going to go in and start adding my crystals. So as you can see here, um, I was recording the first two fingers and then I got a call and it, um, I don't know what happened to the footage. But yeah, I had to start over. So as you can see here, I am going to go in with the SS10 and applying that to the middle. And then I will be adding SS7s on the sides. And that's all I'm doing to all the nails. And obviously these are Swarovski and I am using my Zule glue as you guys know. And then at the end, you will see that I do spray my Mia Secret Activator. I'm not sure if I included it or not, but you guys already know I'm spraying my activator. And that's really all I'm doing to all the nails. And yeah, I'm just going in with the SS10 again, and then I will be adding SS7s on the side. After applying my crystals, this is the final look, and then I am going to go in with my Libra top coat, and I will be adding this to all the nails. And as you can see, I'm only adding it to the top and the bottom. Do not add it to the crystals because you do not want to dual them out. So that's all I'm doing, and then I will be curing it for 60 seconds. gonna be the end to this video and i hope that you guys enjoy do not forget to like subscribe and comment also do not forget to turn on the bell so you can know for the time i upload do not forget to follow me on my social media will be linked down below make sure to follow me on instagram and tiktok and all that as well as do not forget to check out the description for any discount codes that are available as well as any of the products that i use here in this video this is a final result and i hope that you guys enjoyed and see you guys in the next video